people do often have uh, preconceived notions about rock and roll bands as far as what is involved, uh, the work involved, practicing. There's a lot of work, there's a hell of a lot of work, and there's not a lot of uh, luxuries I think what people might think. I'm Steve, guitarist of Asylum, and Asylum started about a little over three years ago. I just saw a lot of bands not having all their stuff together and saw their bands going nowhere fast. So I thought, why don't I just start my own band? Uh, I got a lot, of, a lot of ideas and I got music, so I took a shot. Well, at the time, I didn't realize, realize how hard it would be. If a musician gets into a band and wants to make it because the girls, the money, the partying, they got a great start. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, it ain't there. It's just, it's not there unless you reach a certain point, which every band wants to reach. I can say, if you're here for the money, forget it, because there's not a lot of money at first. Uh, it'd be nice if we can make a living at it, because that all, that's all it takes. Right now, it's literally costing us money to be in a band, and it's very expensive. Music is where I've wanted to be ever since birth, I guess. You know, we're all born with something in our lives, and, you know, though I'm not making $20 an hour and stuff, but right now we're just working hard for a dream we're all trying to fulfill. Music has just been the greatest part of my life. And ever since I was a youngster, I always enjoyed music, and it was a challenge to me because I was always shy. When you're a band writing your own music, it's like you're inventing something, okay? And then you go out and you're going out and displaying it. You're showing it off, and uh, it's just part of being a musician. It's part of it's part of you. You're expressing yourself. You know you got something to offer, and if you do, that makes it twice as better because you're expressing yourself and you're offering something that people enjoy. And it's when someone comes to you and says, "Oh man, your your band's great," or that song. You play whatever, knock on wood, you know, ride high. When, when they compliment you on that, that's that's our reward. That's all it takes. You know, if you get one compliment a month, man, that will last two years. It's, it's the, the biggest joy in the world is getting up on stage. And the scariest feeling, but the best feeling of, of it all, is when you're backstage right before a show. Yeah. And you hear the music playing, you know, uh, over the PA systems. and. The guys come back and tell you, you know, you're on after this song. After this next song. That's when you hear, the, you feel the butterflies. Yeah, people do often ask us, uh, what makes it worth, why is it worth it? What, what is there that, you know, you're striving for? What is it? Well, it's getting up on stage and playing in front of people is better than sex. Is screwing around important for your sanity? It helps. You only live once. You only live once. What you saw today with the interview and the plane, and you know, you probably saw us having a lot of fun. As much fun as we had, I don't think I can have quite as much fun as I can with her. Or her. <laughs> or her. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> You know, you turn 20 and you kind of think, well, I'm not a teenager anymore. But you are. I mean, I'm always a kid at heart, you know. I wake up every Saturday morning and watch cartoons. Think about it. Being a rock and roll band, it, you, you have to have the attitude of being a teenager. You don't have to, but it just kind of goes with it. Oh, hey. Hey. We know these guys. Asylum. That's showbiz. The EP, August of 86. We started this August, August of 86 and finished November of 86. It came out January of 87. It's been out for about a year right now. 
and it sold close to 600 copies and it sold at all our performances and all tower records in the South Bay and uh, it's four songs and what more can I say about it? We even threw in lyrics so you can lyrics. sing along. How about that? Hey. For the, for it's <laughs> better than Mr. Rogers. Yeah. <laughs> Goals of the band. Um, what we have, and what we have, hopefully coming to assume, is another studio project recording some new songs with a producer from LA, Mr. Peter Glenderman. And our goal, hopefully for '88, would to sign with a major record company for a record deal. Uh, what you saw tonight was a rehearsal. Uh, just part of what we do. When we're on stage, it's a totally different thing. We have the clothes to go with it, uh, the choreographing, the running around, the whole nine yards. Um, which, in here, it's just practice, working on the songs, working on a show we might have next week, uh, new material, you name it. We don't screw around, you know? We're paying for this time. Practice, practice is like a job. Practice is like a job. You're here. You're late, usually, uh, but you're here. You don't miss it. You don't call in sick. Playing live isn't easy when you're an all-original band because there aren't a lot of places to play. And uh, like you said, we practice three days a week, every week. We practice two to three hours a night. And uh, an average show is 45 minutes to an hour, maybe an hour, 15 minutes, depends where we play. So. There might, there might be a month of practice for one show. You never know. It depends how many shows we have for that month. It doesn't take all talent to make it in music. It takes some, but it doesn't take total talent. A lot of it's luck, maybe image. You know, money always helps you if you have people backing you. Most of the places we do play make you sell tickets for your own shows. Well, they'll give us 100 tickets in advance, and they'll say, okay, sell these tickets for your show. So that means you're no longer a rock star, you're, you're a salesman, you go out and you hustle these tickets, they might be five, six bucks a piece. Now, say you don't sell very, very many of them, well, the club doesn't like you anymore, and you're no longer a rock star, and you're not playing the club anymore. That's how that works. They tell you, if you can sell 100 tickets, you're a rock star, no matter how good your band is. That's, a hard, that's one of the hardest things I've been in a band as far as getting a record deal because there's a million bands out there all trying to get a record deal and uh, you know you think well why can't you get a record deal? Well you can't get a record deal because um, we don't have a record. We don't have a record <laughs> or a deal because record companies will probably invest about a quarter of a million dollars into you and they want to make sure you're happening and you're going to be around and you got something to offer and um, that's why it's hard so you got to be special. You got to stick out. But it's not like we have to be here, we want to be we here. We want to be here, yeah. This is our home. This is where we belong. But it's not easy. It's like a big race, a marathon, and you just gotta hang in there. Yeah. Because a lot of people drop out. Yeah. 